Yeah, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Show Saga. Back with another video, and today, yeah, Cyberpunk update releases this month and next one. And these are basically supposed to be the two big updates that are supposed to fix the game. Ah, man. So, um, here's the thing, guys. Like, if you're watching this video, I, like, if you go back and watch some of my other Cyberpunk videos, I talked about how I really enjoy the game. I think it's really fun and enjoyable and stuff. But I have a base PS4, so it looks horrible horrid like i've never used that that word in my life horror it looks horrible but you know i said i'm gonna still try to play it i'm still trying to join myself because at the end of the day it's about the experience and stuff you know i used to go back and play ps2 games and and feel like it was the best time of my life but yeah it's it's bad guys it's bad um in the video i also mentioned how i would never get a refund uh, and i was gonna wait for the game to get patched well that's technically true, because even though I said I wouldn't get a refund, I actually requested a refund, and I have yet to got it. You know, I've, I've not gotten it. I've heard people get it get it back instantly. I feel like it's a whole issue with PayPal and stuff. I decided to get that figured out, but uh, I don't want to say it, but I'm officially kind of not necessarily losing hope, because I'm, I'm right in here at the finish line. You know, I'm in January, February, where all the big patches are to come out. But at this point, it's, it's more of a wait for a sale, because I've played the game. I've enjoyed the game, but... Even though there's bugs and glitches, it just it's not the game that actually promised stuff. And I don't want to get to to being too preachy and stuff because I talked about Cyberpunk a lot over the past weeks. I just want to talk about okay, you know, like they say that the all the NPCs just feel alive. Like you talk about all these boring you know worlds where the NPCs don't feel alive. Yeah, they're all boring NPCs that don't feel alive. That's crazy. Like I get no enjoyment from seeing like random NPCs do anything. Um, Cops are absolutely ridiculous. They pretty much just walk up on you and just teleport behind you and just kill you uh, for no reason. You can be walking down the street and you just look into a cop's face and next thing you know, you're dead. Um, nobody can drive, you know, because everything is crashing to everything. It's it's it's, it's, it's terribly optimized. Like, don't get me wrong. I understand if you're playing it on PC, you have a way better... Stop. Okay, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. Right here. So, okay. We get it, guys. If you're playing on PC or PS5 or whatever system you're playing on, guys, this is just for base Xbox and PS4. Let me also throw this as a disclaimer. Yes, we know that the game, we, we know we should expect during this time that some games might actually start to not look the greatest on base PS4 or base Xbox. I am not upgrading unless I get a PS5, because that's so stupid to upgrade to a, a PS4 Pro just to play a, gra just to play a great game. But come on, guys. You know, God of War. You know, just everything they released. Assassin's Creed, everything. And I know what you're going to say. Yeah, there are, you know, PlayStation Originals besides Assassin's Creed. The PlayStation Originals, so, you know, they were built for the Sony and whatever, 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 whatever. No, bro. This, this game looks like garbage. It plays like garbage. Um, Great game. Great storyline. I'm really indulged in the storyline, but the characters seem kind of dull to me. Like, you know, they, they pretty much. Hey, here's all this mystery, and you know, this we could do so much things. You can just kind of, you know, live our life in this us ultra futuristic neo world. Nah, it's all kind of plain. It's all kind of boring. And the weird thing is, I try to like this aesthetic. Like I, I really try, guys. I really try to, because I'm a fan of shows like Arthur Carbon. You know, RP got canceled. In case you guys didn't know. Um, I'm a fan of like shows like this, the, the Blade Runner, just things like the futuristic type, you know, uh, shows and movies and games and stuff. I really love that type of stuff. But even the setting of this game couldn't fix it. And uh, I don't want to get into this because this is just is going to be horrible. I wasn't, I'm not really a big fan of Red Dead Redemption. And it's not because anything the game has, has anything to do with it. What me does, but not like the technical aspect. It's really because the simple fact I don't like that setting. You know, I'm a really picky person when it comes to the right setting. I'm more of a uh, RPG, you know, green grass, uh, sandy dooms, and that type of guy. You know, like I said, I said in the other video, like a really Final Fantasy heavy kind of guy. So for me, mm, didn't really like the whole cowboy aesthetic. I mean, the game is about cowboys, so I mean, why would you buy it if you don't like cowboy aesthetic? Um, yeah, the game was great. I thought I really got it for the online, which when the lot of time I played it was kind of bare bones. It might be actually great now. So I don't know. I'm not trying to, you know, hate on your favorite games. Yeah, but I just, I just really didn't like it. I mean, it is what it is. I'm going back to Cyberpunk now, in case you guys didn't know. So back on Cyberpunk, I felt like 
yeah it's a it's a great game I, i've said i said that a thousand times in the video and i have to keep i feel like i have to keep explaining myself because at the end of the day yeah it's a great game but people are gonna hate on you just for saying that you don't like the game because there's bugs like hey guys like this game is unplayable you know um my save corrupts every, every five seconds and yes they've say they've stopped like the file size corruption but my, my save actually corrupted the other day this is really where this whole rant came from um i really just am not able to play um, I think I have a PS Plus saying somewhere backed up, but I should not have to go through all of that to play a great game, a game I've seen $60 on. I should not have to go through all that. For me, I'm just like, let me get the refund. I'll play, um, I keep calling, I think I keep calling it Ragnarok, but it's not Ragnarok. Uh, Valhalla. I'll go back and play Valhalla and, you know, just wait for Cyberpunk to be like $30, $20 and just get it that way. Now, mind you, it could actually be really stupid. Because I say they, they, they take this January patch and they turn it all around. I doubt it. And I really don't want to be waiting to January, February to, you know, get a patch that'll save the actual game. But let's say that they, you know, fix the game somehow. They make it look absolutely great. Not necessarily great. It doesn't even have to look great. As long as it looks good, it's okay. You know, uh, like all the other, basically all the other pressing games. There's some areas you can downgrade in that just makes the game better. But come on now. For the most part, a lot of these other games just look entirely better. If they somehow fix the graphics, um, cut down on the number of bugs, especially like the game breaking ones like corrupt saves and stuff, uh, I would definitely give it another shot. But as of now, I'm pretty much dead with it. You know, a lot of people have given up on this game. I've tried to be a supporter of this game. But, you know, seeing that, like they, they came out with like two patches since all this mess been going on, and one of them is to fix the file size save glitch for PC, and some of like minor fixes here and there, stuff that you know, they just went around and hot fixed. But for me, it's not enough. And like I said, I mean, it's... I'm not saying it's a great game again. I'm, I'm not. Because I, I, I seem to repeat myself a lot in these videos. I don't want to keep repeating myself. So, I'm just going to say it like this. Yes. Is it a fantastic game? Yes. It's a fantastic game. Storyline is great. NPCs are a little dry. You know, it's definitely not how they, how they advertise it. Moves on to my next question. Is it how it's advertised? Uh, kinda. You can pretty much do most of the stuff, but there's a lot of stuff that they kind of advertise that you really can't do. Um, is the game playable? To a certain extent. You know, sometimes you might just catch that unlucky corrupted save that may happen. It's way less frequent now, and if you get hit by it, it's, you know, it sucks for you. Hope you got it back up. Is the game okay enough to play? Um, and I'm making these categories up as I go, so they're kind of loose, but... Is it okay to play as you go? Um, I would say no. I would say just go ahead, just wait for them to maybe build a better game. I, I didn't want to pull my my actual like, you know, I didn't want to get a refund because you want these developers to actually do a little bit better, but you don't want them to lose their jobs and stuff. You know, you just kind of feel bad for pulling your money back when you know obviously it's a bad product, it's a bad game, but it's not like you know the developers wanted it to end up like that. You got to realize like. A lot of these companies, they have these, you know, board meetings and stuff. They say, hey, these, this game has to come out by deadline. There's no choice. We need this game coming out by deadline now. And I can't blame the developers for being like, okay, I mean, we'll try to get to a base working standard. And obviously, they did okay with the PC version and the, and the next-gen versions, PS Pro versions and stuff. They done okay with that. I mean, it looks great, but it's still buggy. Like I said, if you got a PC and you're playing it and you just have no bugs and everything's just life and everything's just cool, you just, you know, living an amazing life, playing your great game, I, I applaud you. But, you know, us, us base console people are still here. You know, we still kind of matter, you know. So with that being said, guys, feel free to rip me apart in the comments about how, you know, my system shouldn't, I shouldn't expect my system to work, you know, under these conditions. And Cyberpunk never really did anything wrong because they, you know, yeah, you know, base consoles are stupid, and you shouldn't own a base console. If you own a base console, it's your fault for buying a game and thinking it's actually gonna work on the base console when it was advertised. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video.